off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason Okay, we're back in the car. It's the next morning and uh, we are in fact going to take Ashley to the urgent care this morning. I was going to do the ER last night um, for her back, but that was because it was so late. Um, so yeah, she had another hard night and it's been weeks. And so we're just going to go try and get some answers. If it's in something in the bones, we need to know. And if it's muscular, we can get some advice on how to help it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we had settled in for an hour to two hour wait. It's only been like 10 minutes. I don't know if we're going to sit in. I told them I wanted to sit in the car. So hopefully we're not just going in for information and then we're going back out to the car. Because I'm not waiting inside. There's too many sick people. <laughs> and it's more comfortable to watch my show out there. Right. So we're um, getting a bottle of water to try and get a urine sample. I gave it! <laughs> she spilled and missed the bucket. <laughs> They're thinking maybe kidney infection, which it's can infect your back. Not. You don't know that. It's but we're also not. putting an order in for x-rays. Um, so we're still waiting and going sorry. through the process. <laughs> She's already spilled this water all over the counter. <laughs> You spilled the pee from the pan, and you missed the pan the first time. <laughs> can you just drink the water? <laughs> so we can go to pee, so we can get the test. Goodness sakes, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's water. You need to it's stop. More water. And I'll get you cold. I'm not drinking another one of that. Come on. It's the same water they're getting from out there. Yes, it is. We're getting a little snarky and tired. Tell them what results we got back so far. I don't have kidney, whatever the crap Yeah, there's is. no UTI, there's no urine infection, there's no kidney infection. Out of three, they Three attempts to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Finally got a good sample. So now After we're waiting on x-rays. things of water and spilling it. I know, so you only drank one. I don't know how to aim. In my, like, I know. I so we're waiting on x-rays now. We haven't even gotten the x-rays. Yeah. All right. Nada. Nada. Not a thing. Where's my car? Down here? Yeah. But we know it's not a kidney infection, a urinary infection, UTI. And it's not your back. It's not your skeletal. Not on the x-ray. So everything came back. Kind of was getting grumpy. We've been here for two and a half hours. And when we came back from the x-ray, which she wouldn't let me go in for, which I've gone in for every x-ray here mind. at this clinic for every single one of my children. I broke it. And she just shut the door right on me. <laughs> so, um, but they said there's nothing like a slip disc or a herniated disc or disc compression, anything like that. And uh, unfortunately, you only have like a few hours before school's over and I have to get you to the dentist. But you have a fun science project coming up after lunch, correct? Yeah. So we're going to make a quick mad dash. Um, she didn't pack a lunch today because I thought she would just get school lunch. But you're not going to make it in time for school lunch now. So we're going to get her something to eat and get her to school so she can do her science thing. Come home and we'll go straight to your dentist. <laughs> just dropped Ashley off at school. I think we were both scared of getting the answer of something being structurally wrong with her back to the point where it interfered with her ability to do cheer. I think that was the biggest fear is because she is literally on the competitive team now and they start their competitions and they have to all be there. <laughs> and it's so important to her 
to do it and so and I totally understand and so it's kind of a good thing that there's no slip discs or herniated discs or compressed or anything like that to where she didn't have the where they had to say no to cheer like you know so we have a referral for a PT and it'll be up to her if she wants to do that but I'm gonna talk to her coach tonight and just basically just tell her I need you to really force her to do all of her stretching they do a really good job with this squad they're very structured on their stretching like it is meticulous so I just want to make sure she knows stretch her really really good um, and have her be a little extra careful luckily the stunter position she is in um, when they do the flips and the aerial stuff she is front um, she's the front catcher and she doesn't catch weight she only catches the feet <laughs> so she's not catching the girl's body she's just making sure the feet line up and don't go down to the ground so I'm not as worried about that end of it so we're gonna wait a week and decide on if it kind of goes away or gets better or if she really doesn't want and, and it improves with like extra stretching at cheer um, and then if not then I think I'll go with this PT referral that we have it's 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 literally next door to the urgent care so it'll be easy convenient to do the PT so we'll just kind of take it by how it comes um, I'm going straight over to someone's house <laughs> She's been this dear friend, my co-chair for this activity that we're doing for church for Christmas. Um, she's been waiting for me all morning, bless her heart. Obviously she knows I'm doing this with Ashley and just wants Ashley to be fine. Her, her grandson is on the football team. Ashley cheered for on her last squad. So she understands what Ashley has gone through and, and what could potentially have been wrong with her back. So. Um, but I'm going over to her house and we're going to work on um, some of the stuff for the party. We're going to work on the Christmas program part of the activity. She's leaving town in like two days <laughs> and won't be back until right before the activity. And I'm getting a little stressed trying to put it all together so I could use her help. We're going to kind of finalize a few things. And then I ha literally have to just go sit in my car at home at the bus stop and wait for Ashley to get off the bus <laughs> to pick her up and take her to the dentist, the emergency appointment that we scheduled um, to go see if we need to extract the tooth that is a problem. I don't even know if they're gonna do that today, but luckily she has a dentist appointment with her new dentist. I can't even tell you guys. Finally, I have. it's been like a year and a half of me just hemming and hawing. I hate the dentist's office that they have to go to with their insurance. Hate it with a passion. So I just haven't taken them. It's absolutely horrible to do. That's why she has a tooth problem. Finally found a dentist within minutes of my kids' schools. Um, all of them, all four of them. I can get them there so fast and I'm so excited. Um, and so we are doing full rounds of dental appointments for every single one of the kids. Cleanings, dental checkup. I'm gonna get Chelsea prepped for braces and get her appointments with the orthodontist. She's at the age where I can get her in to get her braces on. <sighs> but I'm literally, and then I, so I'm taking Ashley to the dentist. We'll find out that answer today. And then we get home from that and she has to go straight to chair. Hopefully we get home from that in time. They promised me we would, be we would be done with that one in order for me to get Ashley straight to cheer. So I'm gonna have to take her some food. I need to remember to do that. I need to take her food to eat after the dentist in the car to go to cheer. And I am not waiting for her there. I'm going back home. <laughs> I'm gonna go back home. Okay, I'm done with my meeting. Added way too much to my list of things to do. But I have a great committee. I might divvy off some more of it. I don't even know what kids are home. This is literally how I left my house. I, it's 1.30. This is how it is. Abby made cookies at, I think, 10 o'clock last night. I might steal one of those. I need to put you down, though, because I have 23 minutes. Abby, are you home? I don't even know who's home. I'm going to put you guys down here. Well, I hope that there is a, still a sandwich sitting here. And 
Make Ashley a lunch slash dinner. Ah, sweet. So here's a sandwich for her and a veggie pouch. And I'm gonna get her a cheese stick. Actually, she might do either a cheese stick or one of these. Little triangles. And then one of the 10 crackers. Open. I'm gonna do a little one. Maybe I will take some crackers. Maybe I'm gonna do that. And some pepperoni. I'm gonna pack myself some pepperoni and some of that be I don't know what it's called. Borsine. Yeah, the borsine cheese and some pepperoni and crackers for myself to have a snack in the car. Um, because I have to wait for Ashley to get off the bus in 22 minutes now and get her her antibiotic meds. I have this lunch snack packed. We have to get her to brush her teeth. Ashley will probably do that at the dentist's office. Rush her to the dentist's office, then she can eat this in the car coming back, and she has to go straight to cheer, which I know she's gonna be very tired, but we're just kind of in a rush. And then I feel like, then I can come home and kind of put myself together a little bit. Just, now I'm, my brain is muddled with all these new appointments. I just, just scheduled Abby's virtual appointment to the, like look at the design of her face with the surgeon. That's coming up. Anyway, so this was actually really good the other night, all this pepperoni. So I'm gonna make some of that for myself. But also all the plans for this Christmas party. Maybe a banana. Maybe a banana for both of us. We just went through and created a whole program, a whole Christmas caroling kind of program. It's gonna be really cute. I'm gonna kind of have like a little flash mob with our church choir. They're just gonna stand up in the middle of this program before any of the singing, and they're just gonna flash mob sing. Angels, sorry about that, battery died. It's been a long day. Um, anyway, we came up with the whole program and it's gonna be fun. Um, just now I, I think I need to like wrap my head around it. So I'm going to quickly print off the story that I'm going to narrate for that. And I have to create a little, an actual narrative program. And I think because I kind of want to make sure Ashley's okay at practice tonight when I bring her back to cheerleading, I think I'm going to stick around for an hour outside and I'm going to write this little list, work on my narration for that story. And then if she's doing okay, if she gives me the thumbs up, you're tilted. I'm sorry. I can't figure out. You're, this is how my, my day is going. It's a little tilted. And then if she's okay, gives me the thumbs up through the window, then I will come back home and finish working on that. And I have a whole bunch of assignments for people that I have to start calling on. Um, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I can pack Ashley. She will want a cookie as like a little treat after she eats her lunch. We'll take us both a cookie treat. We always have used baggies. I'm an annoying and I save used baggies. So we're gonna pack up some of these cookies and then I'll put this all in the lunch box for the both of us with some ice for the cheese. And then I'll go print this stuff off really quick. Yep, I got 15 minutes, so I gotta hurry. Ashley, are you are you toothless now? Yeah. I'm yeah, she paid. is. One tooth down. You better be paying me. It's going under pain. <laughs> I can't. I know. Yeah, she can't feel her whole it. face. <laughs> she had it removed. I can't feel this side. We had the problem removed. We got one problem fixed like, today. I can feel over here, but we're really yeah. good to see here. I yeah. Can't. We're gonna take it easy at chair. I'm gonna stay for a little while. You're acting like you're on laughing gas, but I know, you didn't get any laughing gas. Are you nervous? Yeah. Is this like the nerves? All right. I just act weird and I... Yeah. Pain. I gotta go pee. You guys, <laughs> that was a really expensive dentist visit. Um, so she had her tooth pulled immediately and uh, 
because my appointment at the, the new dentist next week isn't for them pulling the tooth. It's just first x-rays, look and see what's wrong kind of thing. So we just went ahead and had them pull it. Probably would, should have let insurance cover the cost of that because a little penny, a little penny, good thing you're worth it. The worth what we just are gonna have to pay for that tooth to come out. Anyway, so Kaylee went back. Kaylee was there with us. She came separate in her own car because she's gonna go to Jacob's now. But, um. Open glove box. It's not love box. Glove box. Um, she came in because she's having a tooth pain right behind her retainer wire. I don't know if I've said that. Ooh, Ew. that's gross. She just took out her gauze. I gotta drive in traffic here. <laughs> but they did an x-ray of that tooth and it is a bubble root canal. A double bubble root canal. <laughs> double bubble. And he doesn't even feel comfortable. See, she's right here. She's, I can't show you the car because, oh, I can't, hang on. There she is, right there. <laughs> um, he doesn't feel comfortable doing the root canal because it literally is two bubbles down the root so he the, his equipment only goes straight down and it can't get those curved edges where the root canal needs to get done so we're going to go to the advanced endodontist that abby used to go to to have her root canal fixed when it was done incorrectly um so yeah that's going to be pricey because i don't think their dentist a new one well it's an advanced thing so insurance isn't going to cover it. So that's fantastic. But we know what's wrong. We can make the appointments, get it taken care of. Um, and she's going to get gauze put in and I'm going to fight traffic and mad dash. We spent an extra 10 minutes talking to the dentist. Um, we've had enough of us coming in to see him that we've created quite the relationship with him and ended up somehow talking about Kaylee dislocated knee and then he wanted to see the video of it actually he's like oh you're gonna actually oh there's the knee oh oh he's gonna set it <laughs> he was very curious so he's like watching this whole video and um and we got done and he watched the doctor put the knee back in its socket if you're new you should watch that video search dislocated knee on our channel and um you'll find it she got a little pop it um so we got done and we wa watching this video and i looked over at the doctor the dentist and he was like i'm sweating i'm literally sweating that was so stressful <laughs> so we're a little late getting her to cheer and she's gonna take it easy so i am gonna sit outside and work on my stuff and um make sure she's okay to, she can't do the full activity level that she would normally do at cheer, but I think she doesn't feel well enough to do that anyway. Am I correct? Yes, <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. I think it's gonna keep her in the right mode of activity.